Alright, I just downloaded some virtual console games and their RPGs. So I'm in the RPG mood, so here are my top 5 favorite RPGs. Number 5, Cosmic Fantasy 2. Now this is one of those games that came out for the TurboGrafx CD. And it's really weird because like it has like these cartoon cinemas on there and it really impressed us because like we never really saw that. And this game came out when I was a kid. And I don't know, it was really cool. I really liked this game. It had a really weird plot, something about time travel and everything. There's this guy named Van. And I guess there was a Cosmic Fantasy 1, 3, and 4, but they are never released in America. But I truly love this game. I played it over and over again. And again, it got like a lot of people over and I became popular because of it. So yeah, Cosmic Fantasy 2 is at my number 5. And it is a great RPG that's totally overlooked. Working designs, please re-release this game so that everyone can enjoy it. I know Lunar was really cool, but re-release this game is cool. No can do, cause eating only grain won't give us any strength, silly. You know what? I'll go make a good catch with my trusty spear. You can count on me. You silly barbarian. Number four. Chrono Trigger. Now this is one of those games that had a great atmosphere to it and it has the whole time travel thing again. But like, it's one of those games that really bothered to get all 15 endings to it. Yeah, it had like 15 different endings, depending on what you did. And I got all of them, and I don't have the time for it now, but back then I did. I had a lot of time on my hands. But Chrono Trigger was like one of those great RPGs that like had a great anime art style to it that's not really seen much these days. I remember seeing like a magazine of it and seeing like some scenes of it, like some screenshots. Oh my god, I was like, wow, this is cool. So yeah, Chrono Trigger was awesome, and I have it on my virtual console and PlayStation. It's a really cool game, and Chrono Cross came out. It wasn't nearly as good, but Chrono Trigger still holds up to this day. One of the greatest RPGs. Number 3, Dragon Quest 8. I love Dragon Quest 8. It was one of those, I don't know, I played the demo for it and I was really intrigued by the plot. It, what basically was is that you're a couple of guys trying to protect like this king to turn into like a human toad or something and everyone reveres him as a monster. That was really cool and you have to fight this jester and that was kind of cool too. And just seeing the plot like unfold and everything and how it goes and whatever. But what was really sucks about this game was the leveling up and getting the money. And, like you, you buy this equipment, but it like takes forever. It's like grinding how you have to level up and stuff. But uh, it was still a cool game and I really liked it. And I played it all the way to the end. Number two, Secret of Mana. I loved Secret of Mana as a kid. I played it over and over again. I don't really know why I love Secret of Mana. It doesn't really have like a really huge plot or anything. It's basically about a mana tree and like you're this group of three people that like, there's really not much death to it, but I loved it. And I don't know why. Um, I don't know what it is. I can't even describe why I like this game so much. But I guess it's sort of kind of like Zelda in a way. And it had this atmosphere and I was really just taken into the game. And it, it, Like I said, it's indescribable feeling how why I like this game so much. But it, you have to play it for yourself. Secret of Mana was great. I know Final Fantasy Adventure for the Game Boys was supposed to be like the predecessor to it, and I love those too. Maybe this, I don't know. The Secret of Mana, it was great. It just had this atmosphere to draw me into this game. Definitely check it out on the Virtual Console if you ever get a chance. Number 
Number one, Final Fantasy IV. Well, it's called Final Fantasy II for the Super Nintendo, but it's one of the games that got me into RPGs. I mean, it had it also got me into orchestrated music, but I know that it's synthesized. And I know that it doesn't really sound like an orchestra because it's on Super Nintendo, but it got me into it. It sounded like the, it was closest thing to it. Final Fantasy IV is one of those games I love playing every Christmas, maybe because I played it around Christmas time. But it had an evolving story. It was one of the first games that actually had storytelling into this game. And I loved it. I loved every aspect of this game. And it's the best Final Fantasy game ever to me. Not Final Fantasy VI, not Final Fantasy VII. Final Fantasy IV. I just loved it. I, every time I play it, I still love it. So Final Fantasy IV is the greatest RPG I've ever played. Loved it. And I'm pretty sure most 